But let's not borrow trouble. At this point, all we know is that Dr. Clay is presumably your uncle. He requested a visit. You denied it. Maybe that's the end of it. Yeah, but what if it's not? What if he doesn't back off? Let's hope that doesn't happen. Wait, so, so Silas can do something legally to make me see him? I may not even have a choice? What the hell is that? It's your copy of the papers I just filed. I'm taking Rafe off your hands. You're taking Rafe? That's what I said. Like hell you are. I can't do this. I already have. I'm petitioning family court to replace you as Rafe's legal guardian. As his sole living relative, it seems logical that they'll place the boy with me. But why? Why are you doing this? Rafe, the truth is, is if your uncle wanted to force contact, he does have the grounds for legal action. I barely know the guy. Okay, aside from him looking like the man who killed my mother? What I can tell you is that Sam said Dr. Clay did everything he could to distance himself from your father, so it doesn't make sense that he'd want to get the court involved. So I want you to try not to worry, all right? I want you to eat something before your appointment. What do you think? Yeah, I always want to eat. Good! Good! That's what I want to hear. All right. And I can't find my sunglasses. Why is everything always at the bottom of your purse when you're looking for it? Never mind. Got him. Here you go. Let's go. Perfect timing. You look like an Italian movie star. Ciao, bello. It's my brother's son. I mean, isn't that what you were saying to me in the hospital in New York? Yes, yes. And, and when I said that, you made it clear that you didn't want to be involved. I think your exact words were, it has nothing to do with me. Well, I'm sorry I didn't process the news of my brother's death in the way that you wanted. Wait, so you're saying that grief is making you act like such an arrogant ass? You seem determined not to like me. You make it very easy. Your attitude is influencing Ray. My attitude? Look at the way you just showed up. Like you came out of the sky ready to stake your claim. I'm expressing an interest in my nephew. And look at what happened. You saw him at the house. You saw how scared he was when he saw you. And, and how couldn't he? You look exactly like the madman who murdered his mother. He seemed upset, yes. And then you go and, and, and you file a claim against him anyway? I, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. You went from not wanting to have anything to do with him to just wanting to meet him to now requesting guardianship over him. Something just doesn't add up. You sound so paranoid. Is this the P.I. in you talking? No, it's the mother in me talking. You're playing a game with Rafe, and I want to know what it is. Lady, I'm not playing games. Why are you suddenly trying to take Rafe away from me? You know, I started to think about what you said to me about Rafe being my nephew. And then I remembered how you spoke about Stephen. You called him a monster. He was. Which implies that my nephew is somehow tainted. No, I never no, said that. No, for better it or worse, you that. and everybody else will always see him as the son of a madman. But to me, he's family. But he was the... Dr. Clay? Yes. Hi. Um... Hi, Rafe. I see the family resemblance. Sam, what, what is he doing here, and what is that? Rafe, Dr. Clay... Uh... I'm gonna be your legal guardian. No way. This cannot be happening. Don't worry. We're gonna fix this. Do you even have a shred of sensitivity? What is wrong with you? I was answering the kid's question. What would you have told him? Not that. So you wouldn't have told him the truth? No, that's not what I'm saying. Sam, I'm just... This, this isn't possible, is it? We're not going to let him take you. Don't worry. And can he even do this, Miss Davis? Just take me away from Sam like this? Great. That's my answer. Rafe. I don't care if it's legally possible for Silas to be your guardian. I'm telling you, right now, we're going to fight this. Right, Mom? Absolutely. The kids at the group home always talked about how relatives had more rights than other people. There's a reason for that. I know I may seem strange to you now, but perhaps Miss Morgan seemed strange when you first met her. No, she didn't. You know, it took my brother's death for me to realize how important family is. Whether you like it or not, you and I are blood, Rafe. 
there's no one else who can understand you the way I do. No one else who won't judge you for what your father did or refuse to see the gifts that he gave you. Gifts? He was a psycho. Don't let anyone make you feel ashamed of who you are. Before he got sick, your father was a brilliant man. But he couldn't accept the death of the person he loved more than anything, more than his own life. That's tragic. That does not make him evil. No, but killing my mother does. Go on, go after him. I'll okay. deal with Dr. Clay. You say you want to help Rafe. You know the best way that you could help him? You leave town and don't come back. You guys are my family, okay? You and Danny. Not that freak I in know. there. Look, I know. We feel the same about you. I know you have to get to your counselor meeting. I'll, I'll drive you. I'll take you. I'll... No, it's fine. You have Danny. I mean, at least I have a lot to talk about, right? Hey. Huh? Did Dr. Clay make you as mad as he made Mommy? Well, you don't have to worry, because we are going to fight him, and we're going to win. And you don't have to worry, because now we are at home. And we're safe. There are no mean men here trying to take away my little boy. Mm. 